Hello, uh, hello to everyone. I'm Francesco Bursi. I'm speaking from Italy. And uh, okay, let me share the screen and switch off the camera. So okay, thank you. Uh, okay, okay. I'm Francesco Bursi. I'm from Italy. And uh, okay, today I'll talk about this project. So from photographic survey to street level uh, imagery integration. Uh, in an open source WebGIS, and uh, yes, this is a, a complete workflow that we uh, as GTR followed. But uh, bef before um, diving into this project, uh, let me uh, introduce myself and the company I work for. So, I'm a GIS developer and I work for GTR. That is a small and dynamic uh, company based in the north of Italy and uh, it was founded as a spin-off of the University of Genova in 2010 and in GTR we have two main business units one that works in GNSS so precise positioning mostly and the other one more involved in GIS both desktop and web I would say I mostly work on the second one, so in the GIS business unit, but not only. In GTR we work uh, with a lot of different open source tools and libraries and software. We also try to um, contribute to some of them. We work with QGIS, QGIS server, Leadsmap, uh, Leadsmap web client, GeoServer, Postgres, or Post and PostGIS, of course, and many more. Uh, for example, yes, in web development we use OpenLayer and, leaf and Leaflet libra libraries to render geographic data. And we take advantage of GDAL and OGR tools, and uh, yes, many more, of course. Um, this year we are bronze sponsor for the Phosphor-G and we are really excited to participate in this awesome event. Um, but uh, after this really short uh, introduction, let me talk about the summary and uh, what uh, um, I will present to you. So, today I'll talk and I'll touch a lot of tools. So and platform, so it will be a general overview of the workflow that we, and I mean we as a company, as GTA, followed, that, that we followed uh, after the uh, customer of ours expressed a need and asked us uh, some integration for an existing web map. So, I start uh, with a description of the project and the problems that uh, involved uh, uh, in the first part, a photo survey uh, that was accomplished by a colleague of mine, not by myself. Then uh, I'll briefly uh, explain how we use uh, Mapillary with the data from the survey and why and mm, why we use Mapillary and what for. Uh, before uploading the data from the survey to Mapillary, I also process the process the data, so the frames uh, and the photos. And after the upload, I developed uh, a tool to integrate the existing WebGIS with the Mapillary APIs uh, and, uh, of course, information. Uh, okay, just a moment. Yes. Okay, so next slide. <coughs> uh, as I said, let's start with a brief description of the needs of the customer. In fact, uh, the, the customer needed uh, and still needs to manage the root network of the country area nearby the city of Piacenza, that is in the south of Milan, in the, the north of Italy. They already have a web tool that helps them uh, uh, to keep the network under control, and in fact, a uh, few years ago we deployed uh, um, a server of this, um, on a server farm of this, um, this customer, Lizma Web Client uh, and QGIS Server, as a uh, WebGIS, uh, but uh, right now, right now, at the moment of this project, they also needed to be able to access uh, some photos of the roads from the map. Uh, they didn't have the photos, they wanted 
us to take the survey, take the photos, and access these photos uh, in the web app, in the Litma web client interface. And uh, also, they they wanted a um, final experience, so the results should be similar uh, in their words as the infamous Google Street View experience. So with the uh, like 360 degrees uh, uh, panoramas photo but of course they wanted to use their data so the photos of the survey uh, so they ask uh, the integration of Lizma web client interface with uh, the possibility to access these photos and we also and they also asked us to take the photos um, as a description of the project uh, uh, the, the road network uh, that we are talking about is um, uh, more or less 512 kilometers long and uh, yes, we immediately thought it, will, it would be a nice use case for uh, an integration between Mapillary and Leedsmap Web Client since, uh, or better Lizma web client with Mapillary since uh, as I'll explain in the next uh, part Mapillary is a platform that uh, among many other things let the user uh, upload photos and, s and uh, access them uh, freely um, so mm, before diving um, into the description of Mapillary let me talk about the survey and how it was done so the colleague that took the survey used a camera with two optics back and the front in order to obtain uh, after the stitching of the back and front photos a 360 degree panoramic photo uh, in our case we in this case sorry we used uh, uh, as the mapillary platform uh, recommended uh, a GoPro Fusion 360 camera but I don't think that the brand is important uh, as long as the camera has two optics and uh, yes, it can do the work uh, the survey was done by mounting the camera on a car so the colleague of mine mounted the camera on, a, on, the, on his car with the kit provided by the um, camera brand GoPro, sorry, uh, but uh, yes, if you like medium to long distances, 512 kilometers, uh, you can also use a bike and mount the camera on your helmet. The survey was overall mm, quite easy, mm, we didn't have a lot of issues, it took approximately uh, a week, the main uh, issue was the weather, since we did the survey in December and in that part of the year, and in that particular region, so um, the country area uh, nearby Milan, the weather is cloudy and foggy, and the humidity can lead to some wrecked uh, photos and frames. And so we take we took advantage, sorry, of the hours around midday. Um, the um, we the speed of the car was uh, about. Uh, was between 30 to 50 kilometers per hour uh, as we experienced that uh, with the um, mm, highest, uh, highest re resolution of the camera 16 uh, megapixel uh, we experienced some good results with this uh, speed limit uh, not limit, with, uh, also with this speed only with this speed so uh, let's now talk about a little bit about Mapillary mm. Mm, so, Mapillary at first sight is a platform where you can upload uh, JTAG photos, so photos with coordinates, and uh, where you can access uh, access uh, these photos publicly. And of course, it is indeed much more, but let's not dive uh, into it uh, too much, since uh, yes, it could be really deep. Uh, but as I said, it's possible to upload photos and to view them. Uh, as it's represented in the GIF, of course, uh, in this uh, immersive way with uh, interactive panoramas. Um, Mapillary is free, or at least it's free from my experience, and uh, it's partially OS, uh, open source, 
and by this I mean that uh, the Mapillary team offers a client-side JavaScript library that is present you know, on GitHub that everyone can access and uh, this library is used to interact with the with the API and to increase the viewer cap viewer capabilities so uh, the viewer capabilities is uh, this uh, this part of the of the of the suite so the the viewer is the the, the 360 degrees panorama photos uh Mapillary platform can also do basic object detection as it can be seen in the GIF of the presentation. So it's easy to spot, uh, for example, traffic sign and many other features uh, that are listed on the um, documentation of the Mapillary platform. And uh, it's also easy to show them in a map by accessing, I don't know if I said that this, but uh, um, they offer a public API, so you can access this feature by API, so the position of the um, signal, uh, traffic uh, signals can be accessed with the uh, API and can be rendered on another map outside the Mapillary platform, of course. Uh, <coughs> this is not a complete description, but uh, for our need, uh, it can do the work. Uh, so, let's continue with the presentation. Uh, after uh, taking the photos of the survey, so after my, co uh, my colleague uh, gave me the, the photos on this, uh, of the survey, I had uh, to upload these photos to Mapillary, but before this uh, part, so before uploading, I had to stitch the front and the back frame in order to obtain uh, panoramas or 360 degree photos as we want to name them and as it can be seen in the slide mm, yeah this is the process um, since we had a lot of photos more than 100,000 to stitch I automatized the process uh, via Python scripting taking advantage of the free and recommended recommended by the camera brand software so that can be used also via command line so it was easy to put this part in the Python script but uh, I also tested the free and open source uh, Eugene uh, that work really smoothly you know, to um, stitching the photos in the script uh, I also automatize a lot of things uh, not most, most, uh, the most important one are for example the check of the exif file of each frame in order to see if the coordinates of the photo were present or not and the minimum amount of pixel in the picture since we had some um, quality to uh, yes to be taken into account uh, okay so as um, as already said 100 and uh, 100,000 photos were processed and stitched together obtaining 50,000 panoramas or okay or 360 360 degrees of photos and uh, 5,012 5, uh, kilometers of road were um, uh, were driven by my colleague during the the photo survey and let's go now to the most uh, um, uh, central part of the, the task uh, that uh, we were asked to do, no, we were asked to solve. So the main task required was to be able to access the Mapillary infos after uploading, of course, the, the photos on the Mapillary platform with a simple upload. Uh, I automatized this uh, upload via batch script, but uh, it can be done also with drag and drop, for example. And uh, yes, the main task was to access the Mapillary infos directly in the Leadsmap web client interface, so directly in the Leadsmap uh, web GIS map, uh, in the Leadsmap web GIS map of the customer. So to enable this feature, I increased the uh, Leadsmap web client capabilities by writing a quite simple, I would say, uh, JavaScript script, sorry. Or, mm, the game uh, JavaScript script that was able to query the Mapillary API and uh, mm, taking advantage of the open layer library 
was also able to render the points of interest, so the photos geotagged of the survey and its content, so the panoramas, the 360 degree photos in a viewer that is uh, the tab inside the map. Uh, of course, the viewer was um, was rendered thanks to the Mapillary JS uh, uh, library that I talked in the uh, last few slides. So it was also possible to access only the required data and so to filter the data of interest in order to, um, to avoid uh, keeping in the web map of the customer all the data. So in Mapillary, uh, people from all over the world can load data, but uh, we didn't want to, up, um, to upload in the web map of the customer the data uh, from uh, uh, all the people in the world, or uh, at least from all the people that took the photo in, um, in this particular position near Milan. Okay, so we tried to, we, we didn't try, it. we filtered the data using all, only the, our customer photo. So, uh, I would like to show you the final result. And uh, uh, <clears throat> the final result can be seen in the GIF. So, uh, in the web map, it's possible to click on a point of the layer. Uh, so, the layer is represented by green circles, uh, where a red triangle represents the viewer, so the car, and that moves, that can move. Uh, along the road and can rotate as the viewer explore the the viewer I mean the end user explore the 360 degree panoramas photo. So as you can see, I'm uh, on my map. Uh, I can interactively mm, play with the, the panoramas photos and the mm, red triangle rotate. Uh, okay, so um, this is uh, mm, this is our work. Uh, as I said, uh, a lot of photos, so every point represents a photo and you can uh, go from one, mm, one, uh, one photo, one stitched photo to another uh, moving the triangle or moving uh, with the, the arrows in the viewer. So, uh, yeah, yes, <laughs> as you can see there was uh, the snow this winter in this, uh, in this area and yeah, the weather was good. Um, it is also possible to access the, directly the mapillary uh, clicking on this, um, this icon of Contributors 2021. Uh, it is possible, as I said, to access directly the mapillary platform. Uh, in conclusion, so in conclusion, uh, this project, uh, in this project, we took advantage of a lot of tools, and yeah, the most important ones I would say are Leads Map Web Client. QGIS, QGIS server and Mapillary. So a big thanks also to the companies uh, behind this project and to the community behind this project. Um, of course, I'm uh, open to suggestion uh, and to question or doubt or uh, whatever. You can reach me at my email, my working email at Jitter, or uh, you can um, uh, search me on LinkedIn or on GitHub. This is my username. Uh, yes, it was a, a pleasure to to all this presentation, and really thank you for your time. And uh, let me know if uh, if you have some question for me. Bye.